Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Maria from Under the Night Moon, and I'm here today to do a flip through of an envelope journal that I've made for my Etsy shop. I actually made three this week, so I'm posting three videos today um, of these books, and this is by far my favorite one I think I've ever made. Of course, I love them all, but I really, really love this one, um, and I just think um, the the papers and the embellishments just came out so fun so I'm really happy to um, to post this today and to be able to show it up close um, from my Etsy shop as um, most people most of us know the uh, Etsy only allows 10 pictures so I'm very grateful for my YouTube channel to be able to showcase and show my work um, in full detail and to be able to talk about it and like this here to be able to lift this beautiful floral trim up and show um, the cover and how pretty it is um, yeah so this will be listed in my Etsy shop later uh, this afternoon today's Saturday and um, yeah so let's just jump right in um, these are envelope journals that I've made they measure roughly about four and a half by six uh, sometimes longer, especially with the ruffles and the trim and whatnot. Um, and they're very floral, very feminine um, books that I'm really just enjoying. I'm having fun using this time off to just create whatever I want. Um, it's really fun just to have no boundaries. Um, and so you can see here on the cover, I've used this beautiful swan image and all of these beautiful florals. I have some vintage... Um, forget me not or uh, I don't know what these are like lily of the valleys here I've got some more satin uh, roses I've got this beautiful trim underneath some water lilies I have embroidered flowers trims ruffles um, these books are all um, closed with velvet for the closure uh, or um, sorry for the spine and um yeah and then on the top here it says dream and she has a pretty white crown little enamel crown that i've attached with some gold thread and that's actually attached onto this um tag it's a good size tag um that can hold information uh, maybe this is a present you could write um a, a, um you know who you're gifting this to or if it's for you um, you could perhaps write the purpose of this journal. Um, yeah, so that's a good size little tag and it just tucks right down into the cover image. And then it's attached with some seam binding there. And so here we go inside. Um, I wanted to do, I wanted to have a place for a photo. Um, and this is something that I'm doing with my newer journals is just making sure there's a space or adding like a decorative place for a, a photo. So if this book were going to be for a granddaughter, let, let's say, you know, you could put a sweet little photo here of her. So I left that blank and you can see it's pink and I've embossed these baby dots on there, the Swiss dots. And then I've embellished with a beautiful array of flowers some vintage embroidered trim. There's um, silver threaded daisies throughout this um, book, um, which probably aren't going to be seen in the vid in the video here. But in real, they're, they're, the thread is silver, so they're sparkly and really pretty. Um, it says forever up top and then down here below behind the flowers. And just quickly, this is a little ceramic um, lily. Um, not quite sure if the camera is going to pick that up or not too, but I've had this forever in my stash. I have a few of them. I only use them, uh, I use them sparingly. So when it fits somewhere, it's just fun for me to use these. I've had them for a long time. Um, anyway, so attached here are two little charms. There's a pink star and another little pink, um, little, um, love charm. Um, and then I love this peeking through on the other side. It's just super fun. These are just little bell flowers. Um, so that's that page. And then this page here is very fun and floral. 
It has a tag that I've attached with gold thread up top. And it's beautiful paper with swans. Oops, sorry, I'm not in focus. There we go. So you can see I've got more trim and flowers. It says love. And then on the other side is a pocket and it's holding a few tags and labels and things. So that's just fun, um, fun little tuck spot there. And then underneath the tag, so it just flips up like that, has a pocket here with some beautiful papers that can be journaled on um, with ribbon and trims and whatnot. This beautiful, um, these are new to my studio, these really fun embroidered flowers, like giant daisies, I just love them. Um, so you have some things to play with here, some labels, and then a beautiful tag um, to use throughout this book. And that flips like so. And then the top is a top loading pocket with more of this beautiful paper, more of this fun embroidered trim there. And you can see the daisies. I don't know if they're sparkling, but um, yeah, they're just fun. And then this just slips in the top there and then the side is also a side loading pocket here and you can see i'm just trying to utilize the space um and so on the back of this one ready to be journaled and that just goes in there and there's lots of room in these pockets you can see the envelope in there they're very sturdy and would hold photos very well you could take just pieces of scrapbook paper fold them in half and make like journaling cards. Oops, yeah, and so see, they all have quiet tuck spots. I even forget about them. Um, but here's a, an, um, so you can see the Swiss dot pattern on here, ready to be journaled on, tucked inside there. Yeah, so I was far forgot about that one. I do try to put a ribbon so I remember it, but I just love the, the Swiss dot and the beautiful ivory color. Um, yeah, so these pockets are very uh, sturdy. And so here on this page, you can see there's a piece of paper that I've just folded in half. And I will get to this in a moment, but I will just point out here so I don't forget the tags on the side. And this is behind. So the pocket here holding this, right? And then I've attached this paper, but I've left the backing here open so things can be tucked behind it and so that's where this tag fits and it's got the swiss dot pattern on there and then um this pretty envelope and these are handmade by me um i've added this trim some more of those flowers and of course this has a journaling card um, or cards actually there's two in here so those are ready to be journaled on and you can um, add pictures to, um, and those just sit quietly in the back of this. And this is actually a flip. You can see on the cover, I've done a collage of a teacup with some lace here. Um, there's a swinging little circle tag with swans on it, and that's ready for a picture, uh, maybe. So this paper has little cads, so maybe you have a a pet you could put on the back of there I think would be really cute um, but it says timeless treasures and it opens and this is actually made for journaling um, so you can see here there's plenty of space to write um, and I've added some pretty washi another beautiful swan image um, but they're also tucks so if you wanted to maybe write a little but add some pictures um, you have some beautiful scraps here to write and some perfume labels over here um, to add pictures to and it would, this would be pretty as a backdrop for a photo you could put the photo in the center here and you'd have this floral frame and then you could journal on the back um, and same for this or you know maybe you just have some qu quotes or prayers that you want to remember um, these would serve well as um, just little journaling cards to keep on hand, and those get tucked behind there. But you could also put these anywhere in the book 
say you wanted to journal here and just keep that as a journaling spot and you could journal on notebook paper and just add it and keep it inside this uh, so that has um, a lot of multi-purposes there and then up top here okay no that's where this tag was so i got confused there for a second yeah so that's that side and then on this side again another pocket i don't know if you can see the sparkling daisies but i have them here and here some beautiful seam binding um, a lot of floral papers in this book um i'm really just enjoying the um i'm really just enjoying the floral the papers and the free time we have right now to play with these things i have in my studio um yeah so here i've made a pretty notepad um that sits in this pocket here using this beautiful seed packet it's vintage and i just love it. it's super bright and floral i went ahead and attached two charms there's a little heart and then the word love on there and it opens so you can see um, all my little notepads have little pockets holding some labels perfume things um, just little little things for you to play with um, like this <laughs> so um, just to have fun with and then I'm really enjoying uh, my washi tapes lately so um, I've got some there I have this beautiful image and then just some scrapbooking paper, some florals. Again, would be a pretty frame. Or you could just write right over this. Uh, maybe you're gardening. This could be, you know, what you've planted. Um, that would be really pretty. I have some uh, doilies that I printed and chopped them up just for something different. Um, and then the back you could journal on also um, on this beautiful floral paper. So yeah, so that's just a cute little um, notepad. And then I attached this vintage seed um, image as well. Excuse me, and those go right in there. And it says across the bottom, field notes. And I have this beautiful embroidered trim. And then this gorgeous um, perfume label up top. I just love it. It's super bright and pink and um, just really pretty. And then ribbons and trims, you can see this book is pretty well lavishly decorated. Um, I didn't hold back with this book here. Um, and then this is a pocket on the side, which I'm surprised I didn't add anything to, but I will. Um, but just to show you, um, you can see the envelope in there. And this is a good size pocket. So, yeah. And then turning the page here, and what I love is you can still see this beautiful trim peeking through from the cover. I just love that because it matches each pa each page. Um, but so this is just a pocket, has a top loading pocket here, um, holding that beautiful blue paper, and that's ready for a story. And that goes in there like so. And then this image is been around for a long time it's really pretty it's just some women feeding the swans back from the days gone by maybe the 18 early 1900s just beautiful um the the way women dressed then was just so beautiful i wish we could go back to that kind of <laughs> i mean just yeah super pretty um and so i have attached some tags and some um very feminine floral cards for you to journal there. Um, and then here's your notepad on this side here, made from this beautiful blue paper. Has a, a perfume label, one of my favorite perfume labels. And it's a pocket holding, again, some more labels and things. Um, they get tucked in there like so. This has another little circle baby tag hanging, ready for a little photo there. Um, it says imagine across the top, and then I attached a little silver charm here. So that goes there. And then the notepad lifts up like so. Um, again, um, some washi, pretty pocket with some, some more swans. 
And these have some beautiful floral tags and labels for you to play with. And the notepad itself is just a variety of, there's my favorite paper I got from Target, some vintage graph, scrapbooking paper, some cardstock, some writing paper, um, and yeah, so just a variety of papers in here. I'm trying to make these a little fatter so you've got more, um, more paper to write. And then you can see this gorgeous floral paper here with some embroidered rose trim along the bottom and some eyelet here. And I put the notepad here so it lays flat. So that's ready to go. And then the side has two pockets for journaling here. And those have been each decorated with a pretty label and some just lace scraps floating around on my desk. And those sit quietly right in that little pocket there. And you can see again, plenty of room for more in there. Um, and that's the back. Um, and you can still um, see that trim from the back. And that is the flip through of this um, final journal. Um, these will be listed in my Etsy shop again. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you are interested in um, watching these videos um, and just thank you so much for watching have a great day thanks bye bye